This is your last day to work on this project this week, so uh, I've already moved all up, made another layer, so I'm working smart. I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool because I want to put Norseman inside a rounded rectangle. So I'll draw out a rounded rectangle. You don't have these nifty little handles, which allows <laughs> me to uh, adjust those corners on the fly. Um, but when you draw it out, by default, uh, the rounded rectangle is not all that rounded. It's kind of abrupt. So I'm going to click and drag. And this time, I'm not letting go of the mouse button. This does work with CS6. And still holding down the mouse button, see? I'm going to hold the up arrow. Watch the corners. See them changing? See them getting softer? And take it to a point where I've got a nice rounded rectangle and say, yeah, there we go. Let's say that's great. Now, I'm going to click on it and hit Command-2 to lock it. So now I can't select it. And I can drop text on top of it. And I've already cheated, and I have my font league Gothic at 220 because I want, this is a serif font, I want sans serif, I want contrast. Um, and no, I'm not going to outline it, it's just going to be simple. And I want this aligned center. So I'm going to come out here. Oh, and I locked it, so <laughs> I'm not going to find the center. And we'll, ta we'll type, how about instead of black on black, we actually type white on black which would make a little more sense, and start typing Norseman. And then move this into position. Kind of. Um, we'll center it afterwards. And then I would just want to adjust the tracking. And rather than playing around over here, I'm just going to hold down Option and the right arrow so I can track this out live. It's a lot easier to see what you're doing. And take it out, oh, you know, somewhere in there. And then we'll move this and pretend that that's perfectly centered. It's not, but like I said, I don't want to take up a bunch of your time. And here we have some contrast, a very bold, outlined serif font, a very thin, simple, sans serif font. And this is, you know, all uh, um, positive and the Norseman is negative inside this block. And I want you to work in black and white, but all you need to do from this point, I'm, I cheated, and I worked in color, don't work in color, we need to give the printer um, black and white artwork, is you just drop the, the logo in. So it's a t-shirt for PE kids. It just needs to say Valhalla Norseman on the front, nothing more. And then on the back is your Norse code design. Um, so for today, I don't want the t-shirt. I want your Valhalla Norseman and drop in the logo and see what you get. And also the Norse code. So I will put a submit button on, on today's quest so you can drop your designs, both of them. And if they're on two different artboards, Fine. Submit two different designs. Uh, name them as told in the um, in the quest. Okay, that's enough. See you tomorrow. Oh no, it's Friday today, and there's no MacLab Saturday, so I won't see you till Monday. Oh my.